right on that ugly mug of Chi Chi Cruises. Well, I'll tell you what, I thought it was bad enough for the wrestlers, even the referee on occasion, but the cameraman too. I'm glad to be a good 20 to 30 feet back from that ring because I don't need to be that close to the action. Well, that's the story of your life. Can't get too close to the action. I had remarks about people when they're in the ring and they can't hear you. Well, I'll tell you right now, you can hear me pretty good, and I have no respect for you either. Look at this, Chi Chi Cruz, finally, a champion the people can respect in the world of professional wrestling. And Brian Jewell just landed right in the mat. It could be all over. We could still have Chi Chi Cruz as the WFWA heavyweight champion. That was only a two count, though. How could you say that you have no respect for me? I heard through the grapevine that every Saturday night you go out and you can't pick up any girls unless you tell them, look, I'm friends with the natural. I can introduce you to the natural. I even heard you're growing your hair out to look like me. Well, I'll tell you one thing for certain. You'll never see me with my shirt unbuttoned on my navel wearing about three gold chains and a Mr. T starter kit to look anything close to you with that cheap colonial where I don't even know what it's called. Uh, Pachismo, Joe. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes I have to wonder if I'm getting paid enough to be here at ringside with a man that is known as the former WFWA heavyweight champion. And there could be a former WFWA heavyweight champion in the ring right now in Chi Chi Cruz if Brian Jewell, his former friend, can beat him in this title contest. One fall with a TV time limit. And hopefully we'll have a winner before that TV time limit hits here on the Wrestling Network. But Brian Jewell looking very good in this match. And you know what is very interesting about a contest like this? You're talking about two guys that used to ride the streets together, hang out, almost spend 24 hours a day with each other here. Best of friends. And they, of course, Brian Jewell turns on his friend Chi Chi Cruz. Not even the biggest point to be mentioned, but both these men know each other very, very well. Well, listen, I know both of them better than I would like to. But, I, well, there's a big chop by Cruz. You know, he could fight his way out of a corner. But getting back to what I was saying, I've noticed problems before. When I used to tag up against those two when they were tag team partners, I could tell Brian Jewell, he, he told me, he says, I heard him say to Chi Chi Cruz in the ring one time, you're getting pretty heavy because I'm carrying you all the time. But look at that, Cruz just hit him with a big flying forearm, and Brian should move out of the way or he's going to, oh my God, close fist, and this may be all, but he kicked out. Only a two count, Chi Chi Cruz flying in the air to get some more leverage, some more oomph behind that punch, if you will, that lands, and he just lands a turnbuckle, right, look at that. Brian Jewell looking pretty dazed there, a big slap across the chest, if you will, and a big right hand for good measure. And Chi Chi Cruz getting the approval of Ollie. Kyle, Brian Jewell fighting back. This one's turning into a real war. I can guarantee you one thing, Chi Chi Cruz is not going to be that easy to take that WFWA heavyweight title from him. He gained it, of course, over a victory, over a very formidable opponent in Champagne Jerry Morrow, also a former champion. Don't mention Champagne Jer Jerry Morrow's name in that light to me because he's a good friend of mine, and I will phone him. He's not that far away. I'll bring him up for Martinique to slap you one time. But look, Brian Jewell has got Chi Chi Cruz just where he wants him, and I think Brian Jewell, all he needs to do is go for the pin. This one has been a great title contest, and, you know, unbelievable. I know you don't get along with the WFWA promoter Tony Candelo, but, hey, I'll take my hat off to Tony for signing a match like this. Holy cow, he just sprung himself right over. An old maneuver that Mad Dog Bashan, even the French Mad Dog, made famous, and he just catapulted himself right on top of Chi Chi Cruz to throw that second rope right into the throat area of Chi Chi Cruz. But natural, there's not many title matches that get seen on television unless it's a TV title match. But here, there's only one title, and it's the one that counts, the WFWA Heavyweight Championship oh, belt. What a tremendous man Tony Candelo is. He found the time to sign this match, a title match. He found the time to sign it right under the back of his pizza delivery truck. <laughs> I'll tell you, holy cow, he just catapulted Chi Chi Cruz, still doing some damage to that throat area. And Brian Jewell, he is playing for keeps in this one. He wants nothing more than to become the WFWA heavyweight champion. And he is looking very impressive so far. You can't even cut him down for breaking the rules. He wants one thing, and that's the belt, and that's what he's doing. When a belt's on the line, you don't worry about things like rules or friendships. All you worry about is winning, and winning means a 1-2-3, and getting a 1-2-3 on Chi Chi Cruz will mean 
dealing out a lot of punishment. That's just what Brian Jewell is doing, and I think he's well on his way to possibly being a Canadian champion. And a month ago, I never thought those words would have come from my mouth. Well, you can't count out my friend Tree Tree Cruz, and just as I speak, he might small package up here. Only a two cost, though. Jewel shifted his weight just in the nick of time. And Chi Chi Cruz, I can guarantee you one thing. Don't cut him short, Natural. He became the WFWA heavyweight champion because he persevered. He was inspired to become the champion, and he did just that. It was a dream come true, and I can guarantee you one thing. There's a lot of people riding on Cloud 9 with him. A lot of his fans, the little cruisers out there. The little cruisers? A bunch of little yard apes who come out and scream a bunch of prepubescent punks that happen to like Chi Chi Cruz and he's got him in a sleeper and I think that that might be a choke look at how low his arm is oh beautiful move by Brian Jewell well, how do you like that Joe? Chi Chi Cruz just landed on that turbuckle but he's got enough left to land that big drop kick I'll tell you what, he must not have had that sleeper in the right position there to hold on to it, but he has turned it around again, and a big back body drop that lands, and it's all Cruiser now, the little Cruiser's at ringside going nuts now for their big hero, if you will. He catapults the referee, what, come on! He, he, he didn't even, I can't even talk oh, anymore. threw him over the top rope. Nice decision by the referee. And I think we got a new champion, Brian Jewell, your winner. I can't believe it. Jewell went over on his own steam. And don't jump out of your socks here because they just disqualified. The referee disqualified Chi Chi Cruz. Yes, your winner is Brian Jewell. But the title cannot change hands. And I'll tell you what. Brian Jewell might be using that as a scapegoat for a rematch because the going was getting tough and he took a dive over the top rope. It cost Chi Chi Cruz the match. The referee's decision, your winner, Brian Jewell, but still champion, Chi Chi Cruz. We'll be right back. Wrestling fans, you just saw... beat you. I beat you. Sure, they raised your hand, Brian Jewell, but I didn't throw you out of the ring. I knocked you out of the ring, and I'll knock you out any time I step in the ring with you. But let me tell you something. You want a title shot? I'll give you a title shot, you backstabber. I'll tell you something. We used to hit the highway, man. We used to have a good time. Not no more. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm going to tell it to you now. You're in trouble when you step in the ring with me. I'm coming in that ring not only as a champion, man, but a guy that hates your guts. And if you think you can take me, come on in the ring, man. I beat you once. I'll beat you again. Live WFW.